a lot of people say, oh, I just want to sort of, they kinda, they're kind of dabbling in the idea of improving themselves. And the real way to do it is you got to write down what the fuck you want and then go after it. If you decide, I'm going to get down to bang, I'm going to do this, I'm going to run a marathon in less than five hours, I'm going to, you know, whatever the fuck it is, you got to write that shit down and go for it. Well, my workout, I schedule every Sunday. I schedule everything that I'm going to do during the week. I say, I have to do yoga two times this week. I have to lift weights three times this week. I have to run twice this week. And however I fit that in, I fit that in. But I owe those things. And you don't need two and a half hours. You can get a great workout in 40 minutes. And that's all you need for the whole day. 100%. You know, this idea of time, like how much time did you put in today? Like, You could work out in a bullshit manner for two hours and not get nearly as much done as you can for a half hour hard just yeah. running. So I have to get those things in. The only exceptions are injuries and sickness. I do everything that I can to put my body and my brain in a good place so that I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my engine smooth. I'm changing my oil, I'm changing my spark plugs, I'm making sure that it's operating. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but the, yeah. I know that I've done my best to keep it working the best that it can. There's consequences that you pay to constantly seeking comfort and, and avoiding discomfort and avoiding hard work. And those consequences are you're never gonna feel self-realized, you're never gonna feel like you accomplished anything, you're never gonna have this feeling of understanding that difficulty and struggle and and the ability to push through that is a muscle and you develop that muscle Correct. by doing it and once you do you develop a lot of self-satisfaction and you develop peace of mind and you you understand that you can overcome obstacles if you don't have to overcome obstacles you never know whether or not you can unless you are faced with actual adversity you don't understand how you're gonna feel and how you're gonna react when you overcome that adversity things that are difficult when you do these difficult things you're stressing your mind or I should say, don't even stress in your mind, exercise in your mind and exercise in your body's ability to manage intense situations. It's hard. It's very difficult. It's very testing. And in doing so, you, you lessen the stress of regular life. The more stressful situations that I experience, the more I understand what they are and the more I can relax. But it's also like, a matter of constantly being exposed to these stressful situations where there's not a long break in between doing stand-up or a long break in between martial arts training where to, to the point where anxiety can build up and then once you get into it it's almost an it's an unusual situation instead of a, a usual one. we have been fed this line of horseshit that you're supposed to seek comfort and I don't think you are I think you're supposed to seek lessons and you're supposed to seek difficult tasks and, 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 and accomplishments and through those things and through doing things that are hard to do, even if it's just a fucking 90 minute hot yoga class. I do a 90 minute yoga class, man. I, those last 20 minutes, I do not want to be there, man. And I definitely don't want to give 100%. And I can cheat. I can, I can kind of half-ass it. I can, I can, but if I don't and I get through it, when that time is up and the lady says namaste and everybody gets up, I'm like, fuck, man, I made it. You know, I lost 15 pounds. My fucking yoga mat is drenched to the point where I can literally wring it out and fill a, a, a jug up with water. But through that struggle, I will now have a better day. And I better fucking do it again tomorrow or do something else. Because if I just think, well, tomorrow I'm just going to coast and eat Twinkies and watch TV. Oh, hello, sadness, my old friend. Hello, depression. Because when you're not doing anything, you feel like shit. And that's just a part of being a human being. And we can pretend that we're something other than what we really are. And we can pretend, nah, me, man, I'm just cool, just chilling, doing nothing. Bullshit. You're a fucking human. You're a human being. You, you evolved from the fucking hundreds of thousands of years of hunters and gatherers and people that were struggling. Those re human reward systems are carved deeply into your DNA. And if you don't respect that, if you don't respect the mechanism of happiness and fulfillment and what you really need to do in order to feel satisfied in life, camaraderie, love, family, friendship, struggle, testing yourself, learning, all those things are imperative. They're all a giant part of being a person. When you're around happy, 
inspirational people that are successful, it makes you feel better and you get inspired. And if you act on that inspiration, your life will be more fulfilled. And it's not just inspirational in terms of financial success, but in terms of doing difficult things, whether it's running a hundred miles, it doesn't pay you a goddamn thing other than the, 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 the wealth of the knowledge that you can push yourself to such an extreme or anything else, whether it's someone who becomes really good at playing chess or someone who's really good at martial arts or, or whatever it is, there's, there's a great feeling in these overcoming these difficult things because life is never this just constant state of, I'm at a nine all day and when I'm with my wife, I hit 10, yay, and I stay like that. That's not real. What's real is like you saying that you went to this monastery and felt all this this angst about meditating and being alone and not having your phone and not having the input but then when it comes out of it then you have this reward so you you push through this and you had these uncomfortable feelings and you came out of those uncomfortable feelings with this newfound appreciation for time and this newfound this respect for your own existence in your own space and carving out three hours for yourself a day. That's where it all comes from. It all comes from life lessons and the lessons are learned through struggle. Well, when I was 21 and I was first starting to do comedy, <clears throat> that's when I was really devouring as much of it as possible because I was trying to figure out like how to not be so lazy, how to be motivated, how to get shit done, and how to how to like find the correct path and think about things correctly. I would follow all this personal power, like you had workshops that you would do, like little like notebooks and shit, mm -hmm. fill out and things to talk about and things to concentrate on. Like if you did do it, it would help you. But really what it's all about is just getting your shit together and moving. Just go do something. Like what you did by taking a job when you would show up at a gig and you'd be working there Tuesday through Sunday and then take a day job and work nine to five, that is more hustle and more hustle mindset than anything you're ever gonna get out of an Anthony Robbins book. Like that is like just doing it. Just doing it makes you do more. Like do more hard shit makes you do more hard shit. Yeah. Understand that you want it bad so you're willing to put in the work and do things you don't wanna do. It's what makes you have that confidence that you know how to push through. And the, the, the mentality that I'm the type of dude to get shit done. Like, I'm gonna show, I'm not gonna waste my day just sitting around a fucking hotel room. No, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna work all day. I'm gonna drive five hours and keep that radio gig. And then drive five hours and spend 10 hours of the fucking 24 in a day in a goddamn car Ford to folks. do gigs. Just to do gigs, to keep that radio gig. Yeah. Those things are every, like I had a guy on yesterday, this guy Dan Crenshaw, he's a congressman, he's also a Navy SEAL. We were talking about um, mentality. I'm like, when you went through buds, is it? Do they teach you how to think, or do they show you by example? They don't teach you how to think. They just show. They harden you through all that work, through all that work, through that insane hell week, all the shit that you have to do when you're going through buds training. The six months of breaking you down and building you back up. They teach you you can do anything, just by by making you do anything. So you will understand how you can past your limits, what you thought your limits were, are no longer your limits. That's what I feel like is missing from a lot of people that are getting into motivational this, motivational that. They ain't doing shit. You gotta go do something. <laughs> That's the number one thing. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, forget about whatever financial disasters you've had, personal failures, relationship failures. What would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. We define ourselves far too often by our past failures. We look at our past and we say, well, that's me. That's not you. You are this person right now. You're the person who's learned from those failures. And you can choose to be the hero of your own movie right now. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things that you've done in the past that you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Build momentum. Build confidence and momentum with each good decision that you make from here on out. You can do it. Anyone can do it. We live in unique times. We live in one of the rarest times in human history where you can choose almost all the input that comes your way. Whether it's the movies that you watch, the books you read, the podcasts you listen to, you can choose to be inspired. Do that. Do that. And be the hero of your own movie.